Three. Call you. All right, my name is Jody Yunker, and this is my life. It's full of memories, great interests, inspiration, highs and lows, and sports. When I was born on April 10th of 1994, I was born seven weeks early. I had a hole in my heart, and I only weighed four pounds and seven ounces. It was quite ironic because my sister was the opposite of me, and she weighed seven pounds and four ounces. The doctors said to my parents that they had to rush me down to Sparrow Hospital as soon as I came out of my mom because if they didn't, I was going to die. My family has brought me many great memories. We do everything together from going on vacations to doing little trips to telling stories at the supper table. Uh, I am the second oldest out of seven. Natalie is the oldest, which is 19. Then it goes me, Joey, Logan, Riley, Rachel, and Caden, and the youngest is three. One of the quotes that I really, really like is, our family is a circle of strength and love. With every birth and every union, the circle grows. Every joy shared adds more love. Every crisis faced together makes the circle grow stronger. And to me what that says is, no matter how many bumps you have in your life, your circle is always going to grow stronger if you have love and family. I love doing sports. My favorite is probably cross country because I just like to get out and run. And to me, running relieves my mind of everything. I don't got to worry about what happened during the day, if something bad happened, or if I just need to take a quick breath, I can do that. I love to do pom-pom. I've danced ever since I was five years old. I'm going to run track and field this year. I did it in middle school, but I switched to it this year instead of doing softball, and I also play basketball. Some highs and lows in my life. A high is watching my brothers and sisters be born. It's a high because I can see my family grow together and become strong, and when my mom had the kids and told us about them, my parents' face glue I glowed with, <laughs> with happiness, and I could tell that it was going to be great. Even though we fight sometimes, and they make me mad about always complaining about something, whether a lot of the time it's about supper, because they always complain about what we eat for supper, and that gets on my nerves because I cook it, but that's how it goes, I guess. A low in my life is having my grandpa Yanka died. He meant the world to me. Um, Every birthday that I had when I was little, he always took my family and I out to supper at the Pixie for our little treat, little birthday treat. And we always sat at the big table with the gumball machine right next to us. And when we were done eating, he always had the emphasis to get up and take me up to the counter and get me a big Pixie sugar stick and a chocolate fudge brownie. And I always loved spending time with him, and we went up there to his house every weekend to go fishing, boating, or just to sit out on the deck and grill. Another high in my life is being accepted into Ferris State University. I'm going there to pursue a nursing degree. Um, my sister sort of led me to going there because she's going there for pharmacy right now, and she says it's a really good school. Some of my favorite memories are going on vacations with my family. One of my greatest memories is when we go on cruises. Me and my sister always do like a little fun activity time together. And we went parasailing in Cosmo, Mexico. And that was a lot of fun to see the ocean below all blue and clear. Another great memory is seeing or meeting many professionals. I met Don Kelly, Jim Leland, and Brandon Inge. Brandon Angel is my favorite because he's my favorite baseball player, and I think he's really hot. Yeah, but you're <laughs> smoothing on Leland. I mean, you're tucked yeah, right yeah, in there. I was. You're touching I was his face. I know. I was like, woo. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of my other great memories is hanging out with my friends. If I didn't have my friends, they wouldn't. I wouldn't be who I am today, outgoing and fun. Next. Yeah. Some randoms about me is I love to cook. I pretty much cook all the time when I'm at home, from supper to breakfast to lunch to anything. I'm always in the kitchen, usually cooking. It irritates me when my brothers and sisters say that they don't like this food or they're not going to eat it. And I just say, whatever, go to bed, then you can go starving to death. I don't care for or whatever. <laughs> Next. <laughs> 
My favorite show to watch is Desperate Housewives. I watch it every Sunday, and I never miss an episode. The other week, the Lions were playing at the same time Desperate Housewives was, and my brother said they were going to watch the game. And I said, that wasn't happening because I'm not missing my show, and I got my wife. <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> you got to watch it. Oh, here There's we go. A picture of my bedroom. I just live down in my basement because there's not enough bedrooms for all of our family members to have. So I sleep on the pull-up couch with a big screen TV, which is fine with me. Um, so why did you watch Desperate Housewives there? Yeah. I did watch it there. My dad finally decided to not be lazy and fix the TV upstairs so they could watch ah, the game upstairs. Compromise. So still, I had to watch it on this one, not the little one. <laughs> It's organized quite good. I have a closet. It's all color coordinated, but I didn't get a picture of it up there. Next. In this quote, it says, I can live without money, but I cannot live without love. To me, this is saying that you don't need to have money to have love in your life. You can have as much love in your life as you can without having money. And money doesn't buy love. you got to love, build love yourself. And that's my life. And thank you, Becca. <laughs> ah, well done.